I'm in Huntsville on Governor's Hill at Governor Faubus's former house, an E. Fay Jones house that's just become a part of the National Registry of Historic Places. kind of a unique house for a Faye Jones house. Would you care to go into that? Yeah, it is a unique house, but it's also very much a Faye Jones house. Um, it, it's unique uh, in its very large scale, but it has a lot of elements that mark it as a Faye Jones house. Um, the materials, the, the strong relationship to the landscape, um, you know, um, all, almost all the Faye Jones houses, I think you can think of them as vehicles for experiencing the landscape. Um, and, and the hallmark of this, of this house is, is this overlook over the block. Um, yeah, where the house in nature. The first right, course, right. Where, where, where the house is kind of built into the bluff. You enter it and then this, this projection allows you outside and above the trees. It, it is interesting to me how he is able to maintain a sense of intimacy in this house as well as in the Jones house, all of which could probably fit in this front room here. Yeah. In the, uh, um, so the size and the, the relationship of size to intimacy doesn't really seem to change. Well, I'm with Rana Precure. Right? Yes, sir. <laughs> okay. And Great. she's here. She's with the Faubus House. Yes. And so you guys have just gotten the Faubus House on the National Register of Historic Places, correct? Yes. On uh, September 27th this year, we okay. were given designation from the uh, U.S. Park Service. Okay. Well, uh, so what was involved in that? What did, you, what did you have to do for the house? It's a, a lot of paperwork, mostly. You start out uh, submitting an eligibility uh, of determination of eligibility paper to the people in Little Rock. There is an office there called the Arkansas Historic Preservation Program Office. Mm -hmm. They are there to accommodate the National Register. Part of that paper is you, you write up uh, elevation by elevation each of the architectural features that the house. Okay. Because ours was based not on Orville Faubus but on E. Fay Jones architecture. Yes. So really the paper overall was more about the architecture itself. So we covered elevation by elevation. And that went into the state, that went before a state review board. Uh, the whole process probably took nine months. Once the state board felt like we had dotted all the I's and crossed all the T's in the paperwork and they felt we were a good fit, then they submit that to the National Park System. Okay. And for 45 days, we waited anxiously. Oh, sure. Uh, but in the end, they felt we were indeed a good fit for that National Register. Another thing that made us a particularly good fit is that we had not altered the architecture at all. Everything was original. Um, you know, we've replaced the roof, but mm. it's in the same materials, yes. same shake materials that was designed for. So as everything was nicely maintained and original, and by this nationally famous architect, uh, we were given designation. That's a beautiful home and pretty unique for Jones, I think. It's one of his larger places that he designed. One of his largest uh, houses for square footage inside, heated square footage, were uh, shortly over 7,000 square feet. Mm -hmm. um, as he was all about bringing the indoors out and the outdoors in, we have quite an extensive area of outdoor terraces. Uh, when you add that square footage, which were designed for entertaining and living, 
building. Mm. Uh, we're shortly over 13,000 square feet. So it is quite a large residence. However, um, Orville Faubus was just leaving the governorship. Mm -hmm. He had been there from 55 until 67. He had planned to run for the Senate. And so he had asked Faye Jones to design a house for entertaining. Oh, yes, certainly so, an entertaining house. Yes, so even though we have 13,000 and some odd square feet, we only have three bedrooms, <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> but we have four ovens. <laughs> So we have a great lot of area to sit, converse, uh, that kind of thing, to go outside on the terraces, entertain, a lot of good catering space in the kitchen. Um, so it's a, a great piece of architecture for entertaining as it was meant to be. Well, today you had a reception to kind of celebrate and announce the new, new designation. Yes. And it, it definitely served well for entertaining. It, it really does, and we were happy today. We had uh, people from the University of Arkansas mm -hmm. with the architecture department. We had uh, what is deemed to be the leading Ife Jones uh, yes. scholar here with him. us today. Yeah. We had the Ife Jones uh, records archivist with us I here spoke today. To her as well. <laughs> uh, we also had a, a good number of people from the community that are in. Uh, in the business of running our city here yes. where we're located at. We had a number of people here today with us that grew up in the area, played as children on the bluffs that the house sits on. Yeah. So we had lots of nice stories about that. And we were lucky enough to have some of the Faubus family here with us That's today. Great. We felt very special that they were available, willing to come, interested to come. It was a special treat to have them here in the space today with us. Well, so, with the new designation, is that leading into any special plans for the house in the future? Our owner, Jonathan Formanek, feels strongly that due to the history of two governors having mm. lived on the property and the piece of architecture that it is, so special, that it really can contribute to the community. Uh, it has a lot to offer in the way of history to children and people coming new to the county. So it, it is his desire and hopes that at some point it can be placed into the public domain okay. and be open for tours and lend itself uh, for learning not only about the history of the two governors and the architect, but about nature Absolutely. and where it sits. Uh, this, this house does speak to the nature around it. It really does. Yes. It was specifically designed not just for entertaining, as Orville asked, but also it sits perfectly on the bluff and it just seems to grow out of the ground that Absolutely. it sits on. It stair steps up from the ends. It's mm -hmm. just a very special place. I agree. Yeah. Very well, place. thank you, Rana, for sharing this so with welcome. us and then for it's inviting us to come along. And thank you, Only in Arkansas, for sponsoring this video. Like what you make it. Let's get our hands dirty.